Is it possible to be FC24 in seven days without spending a single dollar? Well, I have no clue. I'm currently in Division 10 and getting all the way to Division 1 would mean I would beat the game. I believe I can do this. So we started a brand new account on the 1st of October at 8.30 p.m. And this was my first player. Is Matt Longstaff. I don't even know if his name's Matt, but I'm just assuming. But then it was time to see our team. Oh, but then, thankfully, the game gave us a high-rated lone player, and I took the cheesy rat Ben Cheddar. But we're cooked, guys. I don't know how we're going to get to Division 1 with this shit. But then I had this FC Founders pack, which I was excited about. <laughs> It was just a bunch of kids. I was pissed. But then I spent the next five minutes completing some SBCs, but I really didn't get anything. Ladies and gentlemen, I have something to confess to you. By the end of the seven days, if I don't reach Division 1, everything I earn in this account has to be deleted and I will lose so much things. I just don't want to do it. And it was my first game of Division 10 and this was the opponent's team. We got to win this one. And here we were in the fourth minute with my favorite player, Jamie Vardy. Vardy, he slipped it in. I'm just full Four minutes later, Vardy plays a through ball to Ben Cheddar and he sweats it off. Okay, it's 2-0. I'm not, I'm not nervous anymore. Vardy made it 3-0 in the 15th minute and here we came in the 19th minute. I was having too much fun. <laughs> and then we ended up scoring three more goals and guess what? Let's go! We got our first win! We we're one step closer to Division 9 and one step closer to Division 1 and this made me feel good. The reason I want to get to Division 1 is because I've never done it before and all the other kids in my school used to be in Division 1 and I always felt less. Out. We reached level 1 and we could claim this Williamson for a 7 game loan so I put her in my centre back position. We went into our second game of Division 10 and god damn this guy's team was ass. I scored a goal in the 4th minute and this dude rage quit which means we were one win away from Division 9. But I seen that we had 900 coins in the bank. So I got rid of this left mid Rodriguez who looked like shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Harvey Barnes for 500 coins okay. And this is the game. If we win this we get into Division 9. Alright so what the f flip have i just come up against i was lacking some confidence of this game because of this guy's team but i shouldn't have worried because i had jamie vardy in my team oh my god i don't care what your team is like my friend jamie vardy's here and normally on every fifa I play i spend money so i probably wouldn't have jamie vardy in my team so i was kind of happy i had him because look at this vardy! and here came the new signing harvey barnes oh Oh yeah, baby. Division 9. And that tastes like promotion. Then I went ahead and got this premium gold pack. And I opened it and got a Polish center mid from I don't know what team. 83 rated Zielinski. And all the other players were pretty mid. I then got rid of this center mid and put Zielinski in the team. And then I put this Mbumbo in the right wing position. And then I got rid of this left back. And we had 1.8k in the bank. So I bought this Mario Rui. And then I bought this Mario Usnik. I don't know if I said his name right. But I need him to get chemistry with Rui and Zielinski. We only have 300 coins left, so I don't think we have the facilities to get a new goalkeeper. And here we are going into the first game of Division 9. But what did I say? Jamie Vardy in my team. He gives a good ball to Barnes and we score. Quack that in the back of the f***ing net. And I was really confident as soon as Zielinski scored this goal. But my father always taught me never to be too cocky. All right, it's 2-1. That's not good, man. Was this going to be our first loss of this RTG? Oh, you bloody, bloody joke. Well, no, because Ben Yedder played a lovely ball to Zielinski. Finish that. And this was literally becoming a game of ping pong. Look at this sh All right, our goalkeeper needs upgrading instantly. And it was the 81st minute. And if this guy scores, we have lost our first game. Yeah, this is not looking good. That loss kind of dropped my confidence a bit. But after that loss, we unlocked this 80 times 10 pack. And this 1 of 375 rare gold players pack, which I'm opening. The 1 of 375 plus what are we going to get? Oh, my goodness. And I went ahead and took this delit because he looked good. But it was now time for the 80 times 10, baby. Right back, Manchester City, Chelsea. Is that is that Reese James? All right, we got 84 rated Reese James. I put Reese James in the right back position. I put the lit in my centre back position, and so did I put this Teo Hernan. I'm gonna put Trossard in the striker position, and then I also bought this goalkeeper Flecken. So now our team's looking like still not that great. And we went on to the next game, and we need a win here after that loss. And in the fourth minute, Mbembo gave a good ball to Trossard, and Trossard finished off a lovely goal in the 18th minute to make the man rage quit, and we're one step closer towards Division Eight. And coming off a win, we had to 
to go against this bloody team. And in the 17th minute, I realized there was a new man in town and his name was Leonardo Trossard. Go on, Trossard. That's what I'm talking about. And I felt a bit sad because it wasn't the Jamie Vardy show anymore. It was the Trossard show. Yes. This dude went and got a hat trick and made the boy rage quit and we were two wins away from Division 8. All right, I think it's time you say goodbye to Jamie Vardy. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him on the bench, actually. Hey, I love Jamie Vardy. It's sad, I know. But we have to do what we have to do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and buy this Julian Alvarez. I'm going to put him in the striker spot. And we went ahead to the next game and we need to win this one. And here came the new signing, Julian Alvarez. Alvarez with a banger! Alvi Bonds then sends these dudes to the shop and scores another goal. And this was going exactly how I wanted it to. We scored two more goals and I was confident as hell. The guy rage quit and we were one more win away from Division 8. And I quickly spent a few minutes selling some players in our club before we went into the next match where we need to win it for Division 8. I bought this man Julian Alvarez to cook and look, he let him cook! <laughs> Alvarez! And this dude Bang. was cooking! Alvarez! And this was the first time in my life I felt like I was actually gonna get to Division 1. He's quit the game! That tastes like promotion! By the way, do you see this haircut on your screen right now? I will be getting this haircut of 500k subscribers, so make sure you subscribe right now. But I'm not gonna lie, Lucas Hernandez, he's gonna have to go on the bench, and I'm gonna buy my boy Joey Gomez. And this is what the team was looking like. Alright, so it's time for bed. Honestly, I didn't play much today. We only play like two hours but we already got to division eight which is like the best i've ever done but i have to set my plan for tomorrow build an insane team that's my goal and get to division six minimum seven okay so it's now a new day the second of october and i came across this objective to complete some moment stars so i just went ahead and did a couple of these to claim this new pack and I'm not gonna lie, that was a huge waste of my time. This was our first game of Division 8. We needed a win here. But we didn't just get one goal. We didn't get two. We didn't get three. We didn't get four. But we got five bloody goals. My confidence was on top of the world. And that win took us closer towards Division 7. We needed three more wins in a row to get there. I'm gonna get rid of this Zielinski guy now. I think it's time to say goodbye. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Mateus Nunez. We need to get rid of this Delit because he's not getting the chemistry, okay? And we probably need to get rid of of this long stuff i think he's kind of slow and going into the next game i really needed this win we need to keep this streak and it didn't start off well all right we're one nil down but we had to have faith in julian alvarez and we had a penalty and i had to put my main man alvarez on it okay nice nice then the opponent didn't score just um, one goal he didn't just score two goals now three two down he scored bloody three yeah the game's done man this might be our second loss oh yeah and he scored one more just to take the pick and we took the second loss of this series and this wasn't good for my confidence but i went ahead and sold this Mario Rui and I bought this Roberto Carlos to strengthen my defense. And going into the next game, I really needed this win. But look at his team! But I told you, when we have Julian Alvarez, Finish. we have to have faith! 1-0. 8 minutes. And here came Julian Alvarez moving like Lionel Messi and he sweated it off to Trossard. Yes! And the opponent rage quit the game and we were getting our streak back. And I totally forgot about my haircut in 10 minutes time, but we had to win this game quick. Bubble! We got a second goal to make it 2-0 and oh my goodness look at the way Alvarez was moving he was moving like Messi The opponent rage quit the game and we finally had our streak back I'm back look at me I'm looking fresh baby I feel good but more importantly I've come up with a huge huge plan okay I got rid of this delay and I bought this Gravenberg and this Diop and I put Ryan Gravenberg in this welcome to evolution and I put this Issa Diop on this pacey protector evolution the reason I did this is because at the end of completing a few objectives these cards will look like this and they look like beasts and going into the next game, I absolutely destroyed this guy's team and I made him look like shit and he ended the game and I was one win away from Division 7. And one more win away to get this Issa Diop upgraded to his first evolution card. And this was it. We win this game, we get to Division 7. Alright, this guy's got a very good team. So far in this RTG, we only took two losses, but this was a reality check. I was smashing this guy and I realized I could finally get to Division 1. Oh my god, okay, 3-0. Guys, we're in Division 7. And that tastes like bro. Promotion! Issa Diop is now a 79 rated. Now we just win three more games and he becomes plus eight pace. And he gets a boost on his physical and his passing and his rating. And we went into our first game of Division 7 and here came the Argentinian Messi. Wait, wait, wait. wait Messi's Argentina, but you know what I mean. Julian Alva flipping rest. Yeah, my singing was beautiful, but what was more beautiful was me scoring all these goals and wiping this guy up. And I was closer towards Division 6. But it's time to say goodbye to this Harvey Bonds and buy this 
this horrible haircut man, Mitomo. And straight after buying that Mitomo, I went into the next game and we needed back-to-back -back wins. And it didn't start off well in the seventh minute as we conceded, but we got one back and there was the man, Julian Alvarez. Julian bloody Alvarez. We made the dude quit and we were closer towards Division 6. And going into the next game, this guy had a pretty decent team, but we absolutely cooked. I'm not going to lie, this is the probably the first time in my life i was actually enjoying fifa and this was fun <laughs> all right we've won another game we need two more wins in a row we get to division six and before we went into the next game we got rid of this mbumbo and i bought this anthony to add kind of a skilling play on my team and we went into the next game and we started cooking baby and we beat this guy four bloody nil baby i was on top of the world all right we got another win and one more win away from division six baby and i got some good news our diop is now an 80 rated and this was the game if we win this we get into division six but look at his team and this game didn't start off well he scored one and then i scored one i have been playing this game for many bloody hours i'm so tired but i was down three one ended up losing the game 5-3 and that now meant we had to win the next two games for division 6 and we won the next game 5-3 but it wasn't easy and we were one win away from the mighty division 6 before we went into that game all right look at that baby our graven birch is now an 80 rated and this is the game we had to win for division 1 and i started off with this horrible goal but we did end up winning 2-1 that tastes like promotion. We're in Division 6. Tomorrow, we get to Division 5 or 4. That's the goal, okay? After playing FIFA for two days straight for many hours, I felt like it was much needed to spend some time with my girlfriend. That is so... Oh, it's turning, it's turning, it's turning. Yeah, me. And then after I came back from bowling, I seen I was 1,850 XP away from this 84 times 5 pack. And I spent the next hour doing random squad battle objectives and just random things to try to get this pack. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know why I did this, but I played a rivals game in Division 6 and I won 2 nil, baby. Right, we need 600 more XP for this 83 times 10. I don't think we're gonna get it today, but we can claim this 81 times 2 for today. And that was a waste of my one hour. What the hell? I feel robbed. It's now a brand new day. It's the 3rd of October. I wanna get darwin nunes to cost 14.7k onto this founders evolution let's try get to division five and our first game of the day was pretty smooth i finally felt like i was gonna get to division one for the first time in my life and we were one step closer towards division five our graven birch was now an 81 overall but the next game just didn't start off well and yeah all right it's 2-0 in the 72nd minute we're gonna lose our first game of the day and that loss just made me feel like things were slipping away Something had to change as we had some coins in the bank, so I got rid of this Trussard. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy this Rahima Sterling for 4.4 thousand coins. He's got a whole card on him. And it looked like that purchase didn't change anything, but here came Rahima Sterling. Finish that off, that's two flipping. Oh my god, why can't I finish? But Rahima Sterling made up for it with this assist to Mitoma. And yeah, we went 2 1 bloody down. I was flipping, confused, and lost. But Rahima Sterling scored a goal and he assisted another one. He changed the game and made the man rage quit. And we were one step closer to Division 5. The next game, we won the game, but it was a back and forth game. It was literally a game of bloody ping pong. And this was it. We were one win away from that beautiful flag and we finally had a two win streak. And things really did change. After winning two games, we lost the next game and I literally rage quit and we literally lost the next game after that, which meant we were back to back losses. I was losing all confidence and I'm not going to lie, I was kind of sad and lost. Look at this. We were back to the first flag. Honestly, I know I could have done so much better today, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just not in the right headspace. Maybe I come back tomorrow. Okay, so today's October the 4th and you're probably wondering, you're in bed right now on october the 4th why haven't you bloody played today well i couldn't play today because i had some issues that i had to deal with that's unfortunate but i'm not gonna count this as a day and instead of finishing off on sunday on the series we'll finish off on monday tomorrow division five and qualify for foot champs that's my goal okay it is now a brand new day it's the 5th of october and we still have four more days but we had our weekly rivals rewards which we claimed and we opened this jumbo 26 premium gold pack and it was absolutely terrible but we grafted and we sold everything we got in there because i wanted darwin Nunez. And this 82 plus rare rated player was absolutely terrible. And we opened this prime gold players pack. We got a French player, but it wasn't Mbappe. It was M bloody Bok. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're now up to 13,000 coins, baby. And we made a huge decision and we sold this Julian Alvarez who was so good to us. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy my boy Darwin Nunez. 
yes. And this is literally why I could make Darwin Nunez's card without having to spend any money. And all we have to do is win two games and win four games, which means we have to win six games. And then I went ahead and bought this Nick Pope and this Udogi to strengthen our team, baby. And the first game of the day ended in a 2-0 loss and I rage quit it. And after that rage quit, we did draw the game. And then the next two games after, these two guys quit at 0-0, which meant we had three draws in three games. And after playing for one hour straight today, I finally got my first bloody win. And we were absolutely Darwin. smashing it Nunez. because of one man. Yes, Darwin. His name was Darwin Nunez. I was falling in love with him. And we were going back to Darwin. back to back. And we were finally on our way towards Division 5. Okay, Darwin, he's finished it off. We've finally reached the flag. I'm going to go take a beautiful walk with my dog after this one. So I'm going to take a quick break from the game. My hair is a mess, but I'm taking my dog on a walk. Straight after that dog walk, I came back and you wouldn't believe it. Darwin Nunez was cooking again. Darwin! Darwin Nunes didn't score one more. He scored two more. And we had just won the fourth game in a row. We then went on to draw the next game, which stopped our streak. But we did go ahead and win the game after the draw. And then again, we drew the next following game. Bro, I forgot to record, but we just won this game. We won win away from Division 5. We win this game, we're in Division 5. And didn't start off the way I wanted it All to. All right, it's already 1-0 to the opponent. But Anthony was moving like Neymar Jr. And he scored this goal. Beautiful, Anthony. And Come here on, was my best friend, Darwin Bloody Come Nunez. Come on, Darwin. That's what I'm talking about, Darwin. And he did it Darwin. again. Darwin, finish that. Yes. And honestly, Darwin Nunez is the best player I've ever used on any FIFA oh! ever. That tastes like promotion! And today was really my day. We were beating opponents left, right, and center. I was finally enjoying FIFA, and that was because of one man, Darwin Nunes. I owe this guy everything. But this journey was becoming really fun, and we went ahead and won our next three games in a row, and we were already a halfway towards Division 4. Unfortunately, we ended up losing the last game of the night. We did very well to get halfway into Division 4, though. Wow, wow, wow. So today was a successful day. Day. Tomorrow, my goals are simple. Get to Division 4, qualify for foot champs, play some foot champs. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. We're going to get to Division 1 for the first time in my life and I'm not going to fail. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> so today is Friday, the 6th of October. We still have until the end of Monday to get to Division 1. Wherever I go in my life, Darwin Nunes will be with me. And it seemed like today was going to be another good day. We won the first two games in a row and I was actually feeling very happy. If I win the next two games in a row, we're in Division Bloody 4. But yeah, that didn't happen because I drew the next game. But it's okay as it wasn't a loss. I have been playing for many hours a day and you never guess what. We literally went ahead and won the next two games in a row again. The one went away from Division 4. And we started in the worst possible way, but we had Darwin Nunes. And was he going to do it again? Darwin! <laughs> and it was the 90th minute. If this guy screwed us up, we win the game. No, I'm gonna kill myself. And I've played for so many bloody hours a day and we're still not in Division 4. We ended up getting a draw. And this pattern was bloody annoying me. I was getting tired of it. We won one game and then we bloody lost in a long time. That absolutely sucked. And then we won again, but then we drew a game. And we were actually one win away for Division 4. This game started by me Beautiful. scoring one and the opponent scoring straight ah. back. But then Raheem Sterling pulled up. Beautiful. And okay. no one could stop us now. Nah, he's made it back. He's made it back. He's made it back. We didn't get one more goal. We got two more. All right with being promoted boys division four baby i don't think i've ever got this far so early in a fifa in my life so this feels quite good and that tastes like promotion i then spent the rest of the day playing some foot champs qualifiers i needed to win five games i won all bloody five games in a row he raised quit and we've played five games won five games and we qualified for foot champions baby and then i said goodbye to anthony a huge warrior for our team and i went ahead and bought this bukayo saka and i ended the day by playing playing some actual foot champs games and you know what i feel burnt out i played for nine hours today and i don't know i didn't think i liked this process but we won the first game of foot champs the second game of foot champs we unfortunately lost which meant we were one for one okay ladies and gentlemen today is saturday the 7th of october we have two more days we have until the end of monday to reach division one but before i play any division rivals today i want to get 11 wins in foot champs and i made a huge mistake today i decided to spend most of the day playing foot champs and this completely burned me out and yes i did achieve 11 wins but i think this really messed everything up as i had no motivation to play anymore and my fingers were hurting and to be honest i was just completely exhausted honestly i've been playing 
fever for eight to ten hours a day for this past week and this journey is something i never want to do again and i'm just thinking if i get to division one is it was it really worth it i've done it 11 wins i aim for i told you guys i would do it and for finishing with 11 wins we got a bunch of amazing rewards and we started off by ripping open these players show me something good baby oh we got klaus we ended up taking klaus and we opened the next one and got this hour and yeah by the way my mic wasn't working so i have to voice over this but we took our we opened the third one and we got kyle bloody walker just look how happy i was of course that chose kyle walker we went and opened this 85 times two and it sucked a huge poop. Mm -hmm. now we have a rare flesh pack let's see what we get in this one show me a good flag german cam musiala musiala please oh hey that is bad and i was praying we get something good from this ultimate pack the hell is that oh alibaba that's not even a Oh, we got Varan. Varan was quite a W, but the rest of the pack was underwhelming. That now takes us up to 116,000 coins to upgrade this team. I put Kyle Walker in my team. I put my Varan in my team. I bought this Tonali. I bought this Declan Rice. I bought this Lauren Hem, and I bought this Robertson. And this is what the team is looking like. And after taking a four-hour break from playing foot champs, I came back and played some division rivals. And I didn't just win one game. I didn't win just two games. I won three games in a row. But you know what? I don't know. I'm feeling so burnt out right now and after winning three games in a row we lost the next game yeah it, it sucked and then yeah we rage quit the fifth game and that was it for me for today so now today is day six sunday the october the 8th i had to look i forgot the day but we're behind schedule we're in division four we need to get to division two by today and today i felt a bit oh, burnt out but the first game went to plan we won it but then we bloody got battered yeah i hate corners on god yeah man i ain't doing this i ain't doing this today guys i ain't doing this we literally rage quit the game but then we ended up winning the next two games in a row this pattern was just going so bloody weird i was slowly losing my patience with this game i just couldn't stop losing yeah i'm done guys i hate corners i bloody hate them and at this moment i felt like i was not gonna get to division one this was sad and i literally rage quit the game the same pattern again we would go ahead and win a game and then we would go ahead and get absolutely battered Oh. Going into the next game, I just couldn't um, be bothered anymore. I personally just can't be asked. <sighs> and then I got really mad and sold some key players in my team. But then I got this icon lone pick and I got this Thierry Henry, which I took and I put in my team. I then got one of my favorite players of all time, James Madison. I put him in the camp position and I bought some other teammates around him. And this is what the team is now looking like. And Henry was the man we needed all along. Henry, this is the man we needed. Okay, this guy is different, bro. And we finally got a win. And this team looked like it was it. We finally got back-to-back -back wins. And the next game, we went on to draw, which wasn't the worst result. But then we picked up back-to-back -back wins. But I'm not going to lie, I didn't feel too happy about it. I was burnt out, but it was still the win at the end of the day. This was good for us. There we go. We got the flag. And then the next two games, we struggled to get a win. We drew both games. And I'm not going to lie... It just wasn't good. I wasn't feeling good, and I didn't want to do this anymore. And everything was just going more downhill for us. Oh, man, we lost. And I was genuinely feeling depressed for playing FIFA all day. I just felt like oh. a loser. Oh. Just couldn't stop losing. And I was honestly losing it. Oh, my God, he's back. Oh, my God, I just balled a 3-0 lead. At this point, I really just wanted to give up because we just couldn't stop losing. Oh, there's no way. If you can't get to Division 3 by tonight, how the hell are you going to get to Division 1 tomorrow? How are you going to do it? And mentally, I had completely lost it i had completely <laughs> lost it oh jeez, guys this was horrific yeah i'm done boys i played for like six hours today and going into the next game things started coming in our favor Ooh. but as you can see my energy was just so low what a goal we ended up getting the win but the question was can we go back to back and Henri was having a masterclass of a performance rodrigo even started a wonderful goal in and we took the three points one bloody win guys this next game means everything to me if i don't win this game honestly i'm done i think i am done my back is hanging my fingers are done this is it boys this game i win it i get to division three and in the sixth minute it didn't go our way game man but we had on ring yes on ring but it came back to bite us in the yard uh, i'm not gonna get mad i'm not gonna get i was gonna break my f desk and this guy was just cooking yeah. But we got one goal back in the okay, 83rd. We and we got another okay, one back. We got a draw. We ended up getting a draw. And I said to myself, if I lose this next game, I'm done. Mm. 
I'm done, guys. Sorry, I let you all down, but I'll be back tomorrow. I've been in the same spot for like six hours. You know, you, you, I, I just don't think I've got the... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm... I, I don't even have to speak anymore. It's currently 1 p.m., bro. It's it's Monday. It's deadline day. Until I get to Division 1. Yep, that's my dog as well. But I'm in Division bloody 4. Well, at least I knew I didn't enjoy it. I actually did not enjoy this process, okay? I did not enjoy it. We had over 10 hours it's left, but the guys. first game just wasn't going to plan. And I felt like I really didn't want to do this 10 hours. Oh. We were just getting smashed. And what was the point of even playing anyway? We conceded another goal, and that was enough. I rage quit this game, and I was going to give myself one more chance and just before half time rodriguez scored a goal thank god good finish literally one minute later bro f this game man i'm done with this challenge i don't want to do it anymore i'm in division four i'm struggling imagine division three two one you know what i've done i don't enjoy spending no money in this game it is a horrible experience this is my starting lineup of course we don't have Henri in there because he's a lone player but my fucking darwin nunez we, we it's going on the gold upgrade spc and i and, I, and it's done it's done guys it's done it's officially done i didn't do it. i failed but if you get this video to 20 000 likes i will do this with a lot of money and i'll build the best team in the world and i'll beat fifa